Hi, Tony Poulos here at Mobile World Congress 2023. And today I have with me Durga Malati, who is the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Modem and Infrastructure at Qualcomm Technologies. Firstly, Durga, welcome. Thank you for being with me today. This week at MWC, Qualcomm made several announcements focused on cellular infrastructure. How has Qualcomm's infrastructure portfolio evolved to drive the development of the modern 5G network? First of all, very excited to be here and talking about infrastructure. As Qualcomm, we made our very first announcement on the latest portfolio of solutions in infrastructure from us back in October of 2020. Our message and our focus has been to bring in cutting edge, high performance radios in both the DU and the RU portions of the solution in infrastructure space. The DU stands for the distributed unit and the RU is the radio unit. These are two components that make up the foundational building blocks for infrastructure. We feel that a cloud native architecture is needed in infrastructure as we head towards the next generation of where 5G is evolving. As a part of that, we made a lot of announcements over the last two years. But at this show, we are bringing these products out here in the open and talking about all the key benefits that these products bring to the table. It's best in class power, and performance, cutting edge radios, and these are displays of some of the things that we talked about in our announcements. We have an entire distributed unit right here, which runs at 200 megahertz and 16 layers. This is something that we promised back about two years back. That's on display right behind us, along with a very low power consumption. At 100 megahertz, we are at somewhere between 16 to 18 watts. We have 64 TR, 64 transmit and 64 receive massive MIMO radios. The solution is on display over here and it's being displayed in a demonstration where we show 16 layers with four devices, each with four layers each. Again, cutting edge performance. Finally, in addition to the DU and the RU space, we made another announcement late last year on what we call as the compact macro solution. This is a millimeter wave product which transmits at a very high transmit power, 60 dBm, extending the range of millimeter wave, but still keeping an extremely small form factor. That's also on displays over here. It has the same form factor as a Wi-Fi access point, but at the same time has very long range associated with it. Very powerful products, and we're working with the entire ecosystem, all of our partners, to make sure that these come to commercialization. We've seen several strategic collaborations between Qualcomm, global operators, and ecosystem players over the past few months. How is this helping to accelerate open RAN innovation and what are some of the benefits operators are realizing from them? We made a lot of announcements with our partners in the last two years, but I'm going to actually cherry pick a few of them. On the server space, we are working closely with HP and Dell. On the infrastructure vendors, we are working with NEC, Fujitsu, Mavenir, Rakuten Symphony, Viatel, just to name a few, we're working with several others. But with all these partners, our modem RF platforms are the foundational building blocks. But a lot of the infrastructure partners still have to do additional work in writing their layer two and layer three software, and that makes it into a complete product. As a part of these announcements, we are working with several operators. And in these operators, what they are interested in is, post these demonstrations and the lab tests, we expect to see action on the ground, in the field, showcasing the technology, showcasing what ORAN compliant solutions are really capable of when it comes to high performance radios and very energy efficient radios on top of it. So we hope to prove this out into the field this year, leading towards commercialization as we go along. Looking forward, how is the growth strategy of Qualcomm poised to drive the full scale commercialization of open virtualized RAN? From a general Qualcomm strategy, when Cristiano took over as our CEO, he made it very clear that we want to be in the business of diversifying our products into a large number of segments. Part of the diversification strategy is not only to expand on devices. These days when we talk of devices, we go from handsets, compute segment, fixed wireless access, XR, and going all the way into IoT and automotive domain. But we want to bring in that innovation onto the network side of the equation as well. And that's where our diversification strategy really helps when we have a role not by being a full-fledged infrastructure vendor, but by doing our part in having a horizontal platform on which our partners can build their radio solutions. As we move forwards, 
we expect to see a larger portfolio of products coming into the mix as we grow from where we are today towards commercialization. Berger, thanks so much for that. Very enlightening and it's great to see Qualcomm heading up such a fabulous ecosystem. Thank you. Thanks for having me.